Oh my gosh, I'm not doing well. That's my goal done, achieved. But it's fine, everything's fine. Which is honestly really sad. another vlog. It is Tuesday today and I normally start my weekly vlogs on a Monday but if you watch my last weekly vlog you would know that I was running around like a crazy woman all week and so I honestly just kind of like spaced that it was even Monday yesterday and I was like meant to start a new vlog. Quick recap on my week so far. Yesterday I stayed on the Sunshine Coast with Rachel and we caught up with our friends Soph and Riley. Just so great. We really didn't get up too much. We just sat in our Airbnb and just talked the whole time because we just don't get to see each other very often. So that was really really good. So obviously I woke up in the Airbnb on on Monday morning. We went for a walk along the beach. We got some acai and some coffee, just hung out and chat. And then we checked out of the Airbnb and headed our separate ways, which is honestly really sad because it's people like that that I just wish I was surrounded with constantly, but I will be seeing them again sometime soon. So at least I have that to hold on to. <laughs> I got home by like 1 p.m. It was like a two hour drive home. And as soon as I got home, I just unpacked my car. I did my washing. I watered my plants. I cleaned the house. I just got so much done. And I was so proud of myself. I was absolutely killing it. <laughs> I went to a PT session that afternoon. It was really great to chat to my PT about where we're going in these next coming few weeks. I'm actually starting a new training phase at the moment, which I'm honestly ugh, a little bit nervous about because it's just different and I don't like change that much, but I know that change is like inevitable and change is going to help me grow more than just doing the same old thing every single week. So my PT is doing an eight week challenge. I think it starts in like three weeks and my new training phase is starting a couple weeks early for me to just like get into the routine and have an understanding of of what my training phase is before I really go hard in my eight week challenge. So I don't know what like we're calling this training phase, but I feel like you could call it like a strength training phase because basically every single exercise, I do four sets. I do three sets of three to five reps and then one set of, I think it's like six to eight and that's it. So instead of just doing like 10 to 12 reps and going like 70% of what you can lift, I'm going like hard, like really, really hard. And I've never done that before. I've gone for my one rep maxes before, but I've never like gone as hard as I can for like six to eight reps. So I think it's going to be really, really interesting. I have my first um, session on my own tomorrow. So I saw my PT yesterday. I also saw him this morning. So tomorrow is pull and in brackets it says heavy. <laughs> So I do three sets of three deadlifts and then one set of six. I don't know what my like max is for six reps. Like I've just never like done that before. So I think it'll definitely be like a learning curve and like trying to learn what I can and can't lift. But I just talked that all out with my PT this morning and he's like, if you get to like four reps and you can't do any more, then you just note that for next time and go a bit lighter for your six reps. So like it's just going to be a lot of learning and a lot of change, which I like, ee. 
Don't know how I feel, but I know that this training face is going to make me so strong. And that is what I love. Like, I love feeling strong. So I'm excited, but I am a little bit nervous. Anyway, I had PT. That was great. On the way home from PT last night, I went grocery shopping and got his groceries for the week, which is really, really great. I'm on a deload week this week because last week I was away and I was kind of just sitting at maintenance, I think. I didn't track anything, which was honestly really nice. I didn't think once about, like, how many cows were in the meal I was eating or if I was hitting my protein and my carbs and my fats like I just didn't care and so coming back I feel really refreshed and I'm just like excited to like hit my numbers again it'll be interesting there's lots of change happening in the next coming weeks like health and fitness wise but I'm excited about it but anyway this morning I went for a quick little walk it was like a half an hour walk very slow just to get my body moving get my brain clear <laughs> that doesn't make sense but you know what I mean anyway I came home I made breakfast I tidied the kitchen I had a shower I just got ready and I'm actually gonna sit down and open some packages with you that have been sitting in my home accumulating since while I've been gone since while I've been gone just while I've been gone also I put lipstick on today and I hate it I think <laughs> I never wear lipstick ever like I normally just have lip balm on so I feel like a complete clown like I look like I'm a clown anyway I have two packages here and I also have a package slip from Australia Post that I just haven't collected yet but for now I have this big box from before you speak Georgia we hope you enjoy our newest product can't wait to hear your thoughts love BYS PS enjoy the treats treats what okay okay well, firstly this is the product secondly look at all these snacks look at that that looks delicious they're sour lollies shaped in shoes but this whole package is because they've brought out a new coffee i don't know how to pronounce it octane thermogenic coffee blend that is here to ignite your routine put a match in your mood and help you burn your way through the day thermogenic coffee infused with green tea zinc to boost your metabolism energy and focus interesting i don't know if this will taste like their og or what it will taste like interesting i'll have to try that out but thank you so much before you speak before you speak is sold on elite subs and i do have a discount code which is just georgia and i think that saves you 10 percent off and i have my affiliate link down below if you did want to shop through that my room is going to be a mess after i open this next package because it's a ginormous package from gym shark however i think this might be one of my favorite packages ever because the products are just too good i could not pass them up there is so much stuff. I'm so excited. As always, I do have an affiliate link with Gymshark. I'll have that link down below if you did want to shop any of these pieces. I got a lot of sports bras, so I'm just warning you. There's a lot of sports bras. So this is their Ruched sports bra. I have this in one color and I love it so much. So I did choose this in every single color that they were offering because I am obsessed and I'm okay with it. <laughs> so it's this beautiful like nudie beige. Kind of, it's like my skin tone. I kind of love it. This is this ruched sports bra in white as well. I feel like you can't go wrong with a white sports bra. Cute. Again, I have this style of sports bra in one color and I love it so much that I did choose it in every color. This is beautiful. It's very similar to the ruched sports bra just without the little ruche in the middle. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that green. I love green. Even like the color of the band is so nice. This is their fit sports bra and I love the fit collection. I did warn you that I got a lot of sports bras. We also got the same in black, just a classic. I really like the back as well. It's just so flattering. And if you're wondering, I wear a large in tops and bottoms. The ruched sports bras, I did get in an extra large just because they are a little bit like tighter and a bit more compressive, um, but I do fit a large easily. Oh, I was like, why is this so hard? Thinking it was a sports bra. It's a hat. Oh, that's kind of comfy. Do I look like a dad? Ooh, ooh, okay. I don't have this style. It looks more like a training sports bra instead of just like a cute one. Do you know what I mean? But it's still really cute. Love the logo just here. And I love how much coverage this will give. What a gorgeous color. I think this will look great when I have a tan on. It's like a very, very, very muted pink. I feel like it's coming up like white on camera. That is stunning. Then it's just got like a straight back. Adjustable straps as well, which I really like. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we all know how much I and we all love Vital Seamless. It's an absolute banger. And they just brought out all those new colors, the yellow, the blue, the taupe. They're also bringing out some new grays. So this is like a dark charcoal gray. So nice. It's not a black, but it's not a light gray. I really, really love that. Okay, so this is like the black sports where I showed you before, but in white. I think that's so nice. I like the coverage. Like I like how long it is. I think I'm going to be a big fan of those. I'm sorry if the angle changed. My SD card just ran out of storage. We love that. 
just opened this little black sports bra two straps just very like full coverage and looks so high support and it's got a little bra clasp at the back as well so you can adjust that which is very ideal ah <laughs> I actually cannot comprehend how much I love these shorts. These are the new Vital Seamless. They're coming out with a hot pink. Like, this is too cute. I wouldn't even say a hot pink. I feel like it's coming up a lot brighter on camera than it is in real life. It's definitely not a pastel pink, but it's not a hot pink either. Imagine this with a white sports bra. Cute. I cannot wait to wear these. Staying with the Vital Seamless trend, they've come out with a really light gray as well, which I really, really like. It's almost like a bit bluey, like a very very baby blue slash gray i really love that even wearing this with like a dark blue sports bra or something might look cute oh just a classic this is the ruched sports bra but in black we're almost at the end <sighs> that color are you kidding me i love it i love green that's really cute and then this is their Rouge Sports Bra in a bright orange as well. How fun is that? That's everything. If you watched that whole thing, I appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking with me. I need to hang this all up now and try fit it into my wardrobe. Don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> Rachel also asked me to FaceTime her once I open my package, so I'm going to have to do that. And then I will be getting into my work for today. So I think my plan is to literally just sit down at my desk, edit emails, invoices until lunchtime, eat lunch, and then I think I'm going to go out to a cafe and work there just so I'm changing up my work environment and then this afternoon I'll go for a walk and then do boxing as well so that's my plan for today also just a big thank you to Tim Shark and before you speak just like companies that send me stuff like I still can't comprehend it in my head like I don't think I ever will absolutely blown away I'm gonna finish the last few slips of slips <laughs> sips of my smoothie anyway I'm just procrastinating going to work now so I'm gonna go and I'll update you sometime Wednesday already like I feel like it should be Monday or Tuesday because this week has just been all over the place I think just because I didn't spend Monday at home doing my usual routine it just feels a little bit odd but it is Wednesday today I had a little bit of sleep in I didn't mean to but I did it's currently 9 p.m. <sighs> 9 p.m. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. and I've just been getting ready. I have my outfit on for the day. These are the new Vital Seamless shorts from Gymshark. Freaking obsessed. And then this white crop. Very, very cute. I'm about to sit down, write a to-do list, get into my work for the day. I'm gonna make a smoothie and I think some toast for breakfast. I've woken up really, really hungry, which is weird because like I had dinner late and I felt full when I finished eating. I don't know why I feel like that. But yeah, I'm gonna have a big breakfast, lots of carbs so that my workout is good. I'm I'm tired I'm gonna need a coffee as well but I just want to get stuck into so much work today I'm gonna go to the gym probably like midday I think before lunchtime and then keep working and then tonight I'm gonna go to boot camp as well with my PT so that's my overall plan for my Wednesday I'm actually out of chocolate protein at the moment so I think I'm gonna make the smoothie that Connor and I made in our smoothie competition last week if you watched my vlog where I went away with Naked Harvest we made a smoothie that had frozen banana frozen cauliflower the Naked Harvest Strawberries and Cream Protein Powder and we put strawberry pre-workout in it and it tasted really, really good. I actually had this as an afternoon snack yesterday before my afternoon workout. It was just so yum and I'm a big fan. So I feel like this is going to be a smoothie I consistently have, but I'm going to make that for breakfast with some toast and probably a coffee as well.
make my smoothie for breakfast because whoa i'm kind of on a time crunch this morning so it's currently friday as you saw i went to pt this morning it was a struggle getting out of bed <sighs> i was meant to do upper body i convinced him to do lower body it's always a great day when he listens to me <laughs> and now i'm home i'm gonna make a quick smoothie and probably some toast for breakfast and then i'm gonna go on a quick walk to get some steps in because i think i'm gonna run out of time for the rest of my day Oh my gosh, I'm not doing well in my smoothie this morning. <laughs> Look how full that is. In this smoothie, I put banana, cauliflower, naked harvest, strawberries and cream, protein. And then I haven't tried this before, but I put in the pine coconut collagen. I normally just drink this on its own because it tastes so great. But adding in a smoothie just adds a little bit of extra fruitiness. And it, it doesn't taste too powdery with other powders in it as well. I should have put the greens powder in, but I completely forgot. I'm going to drink this, make some pieces of toast, scoff that down while I reply to some comments, I think. And then I'm going to go for probably an hour walk. I think that's the, that's the plan. I didn't talk to anyone. I normally like send my friends videos or listen to friends videos while I'm on my walk. But I literally just listened to music for the whole hour walk. And it was really nice. I think I did just over 4K. Then I came home, had a shower, and now I've just driven. And I'm going to go get my brows done. I don't get my brows done. Like, I don't remember the last time I went and got my brows done. And if I do, it's just at like a random brow stall at a random shopping center that's not like actually like a good place to go. But I'm actually going to go get my brows. I think like waxed, tinted, and lemonade. I'm nervous. I'm actually going and seeing the lady who did the hair and makeup for Rachel's wedding. So she did Rachel Beck and I's makeup and then did Rachel's hair as well. She is so lovely. I'll have her account here on the screen. But I'm really excited to get my brows done. I feel like I naturally have like pretty okay brows. They're not my least favorite thing about me, but I feel like they could be better. And I love anything that makes getting ready in the morning easier. So like having my brows already done. So this is a before of my eyebrows. Like they're not bad and I, had, I don't hate the shape. I just want them like a little bit darker, waxed of course. I'm excited, I'm a little bit nervous. But I'm excited to just lay there and chill for a little bit. I will show you the after very soon. I just popped out and this is my like after. I feel like I can't really show you a decent after because obviously the first day you get them done, they're gonna be like the most intense ever. So this is like as crazy as they're gonna look. She said that in like two days time, the tint's gonna like settle down and I'm gonna not gonna look crazy, but they are so clean. I just keep looking off to the screen because I like can't, it's very weird to see myself with such like big crazy brows but it took just over an hour so really happy with that everything was so easy didn't even hurt at all either but yeah i'm obsessed i'll have her info website instagram all linked down below as well if you are in the brisbane area and interested Saturday. I haven't actually picked up the camera and talked today. So I'm the worst vlogger ever. Vlogger. <laughs> Stop. It is currently 5.20. So it's really the end of the day and I'll pick up my camera. But it's fine. Everything's fine. This morning I went and did a group fitness class with my PT, which was really good. I definitely slept in. So it was a bit of a shamble getting out of the house and getting there. But we made it. It's fine. Just the, the word of today is it's fine. Are you right? 
I'm going to all over my shirt. And then straight from boot camp, I drove straight to breakfast and Rachel and I had breakfast with our friend Kate, which you would have seen a little montage of, the coffee. We didn't do IG for dinner. <laughs> wait, I haven't. Wait, um, wait, wait. No. <laughs> um, we got to breakfast at 9.30. Yeah. And we left at 2. two. But so I got home surprised. and ate and it was 2.45 and I was yeah. like, what even am I meant to do for the rest of the time that I have? And then I left the house at 4.30. Yeah. And Rachel and I had to hit our steps because Rachel's a uh, changed woman now. She's um trying to hit 10k steps every day. Trying. She is a Achieving. Yeah, I've achieved it so, so far. This is just going to be us hanging out now. We went for a walk together on Thursday. <laughs> Incredible. Walking with people is just 10 times better. It really is because it doesn't actually feel like you're exercising. Yeah, my arm is. It just feels like you're hanging out. Really struggling to hold this up right now. Anyway, I went home, I had some lunch, and then I did some emails, a little bit of editing. I so FaceTimed Gemma. Did you? Because I was telling her about something exciting and she just called me instead of us talking about it. We both have like 2,000 ish steps. Yeah. I puffed. Oh, sorry. Just Anyway, Rachel and I are on a walk trying to hit our steps. We're then going to go meet up with our friend Grace and go over to her house and have dinner. We're going to get GYG. Yeah. We're going to get a bowl of burrito. I don't know. I don't either. We're going to have. Okay, so I had a Cali. Yeah? And I didn't like it. We get GYG, take it over to Grace's house, hang out with her and her little dog. Little dog? is probably not even little anymore. I mean, he'll still be little, but yeah. he won't be as little as he used to be. Haven't seen him in so long. I haven't seen Grace in so long. A raging Saturday night. Look yeah, the girls. <laughs> Yeah, who would have thought? I literally like haven't Never really been alone. <laughs> yeah, you actually haven't. Game changing, hey. but it's good, it's good, it's good. A bit sketch. <laughs> Adventurous, if you ask me. I also haven't looked good once during this vlog. <laughs> Look at me. Go on, right. Bestie, show me moves. Alright, Bestie, get it, I guess. <laughs> Good morning friends, happy Sunday. It is 6.30 a.m. and I struggled to get out of bed this morning. I think I got home from Grace's last night at like 10.45. So like kind of a late night for me. I know that I am literally a grandma, but I'm normally in bed by nine, so that was late. <laughs> but I had such a good time hanging out with them last night. Just like good quality friends. And we had Guzman, so like just a 10 out of 10. But I'm in my car at 6.30 this morning because I'm going and meeting up with one of my friends, Alex, and we're going to Zarafa's. Alex is one of my PT's other clients and we're meeting at Zarafa's, getting a coffee, and then we're driving to a set of stairs. I've never been there before. I've also never gone and like specifically done stair runs before, but that's what we're doing this morning. I am very sore this morning as well like very very sore and have to go to the gym today because I made yesterday my rest day instead of today and it's leg day so it's gonna be a struggle I think but hopefully this gets heaps of my steps in and I don't have to go for a walk but I'm tired I am sore I'm excited for coffee and I'm excited for some good quality banter since I picked up my camera. It is currently quarter past 1 p.m. So I thought I'd bring you back up to speed. I obviously did the stair runs this morning, which was actually really good. We didn't do it for too long, but it was nice to just get some movement in. And I have never done stair runs before, so it was nice to like switch up my style of cardio, I guess. And really good company as well. I love doing physical activity with other people. I find it very beneficial for my mental health. After the stairs, I came home, I changed my shoes, and I went to the gym and I hit some lower body. That was a session I was meant to do yesterday that I was just too sore to do and I definitely took it lighter than I should have <laughs> but this week was the start of a new training phase I'm still trying to figure out the weights that I should be lifting and the different exercises that I want to like really push myself on and stuff so I'm still trying to get my head around it I still feel like I went in and I put in a lot of hard work and I put in the effort but this week's kind of just been a learning curve gym and weight wise but I was in the gym for two hours I trained for an hour and then I walked on the treadmill for an hour just because I didn't hit my steps yesterday and I was sick of being slack
back. So I'm currently at 12,065 steps, which is really, really good. That's my goal done, achieved. Whatever steps I get for the rest of the day is just a little bit extra, which is nice. I got a protein shake from the gym. I came home, I showered. I did a little bit of work, mainly just on Instagram, just like replying to comments and DMs and stuff, which sounds like nothing, but takes me so long. And I spent the full hour on the treadmill doing the same thing. So that's just something that I can never get on top of, but I'm really, really trying to make the conscious effort to reply. But I've just gotten ready and I'm gonna head out the door. I'm gonna go pick up some lunch. I think I'm gonna get Subway. I haven't really been tracking very well this week. <laughs> and I'm just kind of giving myself the weekend to just live my life, eat the food, and then I'm gonna start tracking 100% on Monday. Anyway, that was a random spiel. I'm gonna go get some Subway for lunch and I'm gonna take it to my grandma's house. And I think the rest of my family is gonna be there. We're gonna hang out with her for a bit. I'm basically gonna be at her house until I need to go to church because I'm one welcoming tonight. So I need to be at church just before 5 p.m. I think because I'm on the door welcoming people, signing people in, being COVID safe, you know how it is. But I'm gonna go get a huge foot long sub. 